Hello beautiful souls, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for joining us today. Today we are talking about the very mystical, highly anticipated lunar eclipse happening in Pisces on the 17th of September. So grab your favorite beverage, get comfy, and let's dive into this cosmic event. Trust me when I say this, it's going to be quite a ride. So what is a lunar eclipse? Imagine the Earth sliding right between the Sun and the Moon, casting its shadow over the Moon. The Moon doesn't disappear, but it takes on this beautiful reddish hue, very mysterious, very Pisces, don't you think? Unlike a typical full Moon, which already stirs up a lot of emotions and intuition, a lunar eclipse supercharges that energy. It's like a full moon on steroids, big shifts, big releases, and major revelations. Lunar eclipses are like a cosmic nudge, a wake-up call from the universe, especially when they happen in watery, dreamy Pisces. And this eclipse, oh, it's not going to whisper. It's going to shake up the way we connect with our intuition, emotions, and even our dreams. Ready for a deep dive? Let's break it down. First, the sign. Pisces is all about spirituality, intuition, unconditional love, and the subconscious. Think of it like that mystical friend who seems to always know when you're about to text them. I had a feeling you'd call. That's Pisces. But during this eclipse, Pisces is more than just a psychic sponge. It's about to flood our inner world. Now, one of the most important things to notice is that Neptune, Pisces' ruling planet, will be super close to the moon during this eclipse. Neptune is dreamy and creative, but it can also bring confusion, fog, and wait for it, delusions. So if you feel like you're in a mental haze or like reality is slipping through your fingers, well, you can thank Neptune for that. But hey, no one ever said enlightenment was easy, right? It's like losing your car keys just to find them in your pocket. On a deeper level, this eclipse is going to ask us to reflect on our emotional baggage. We all have those little things we sweep under the rug, whether it's unresolved feelings, spiritual blocks or all patterns that no longer serves us. The moon, especially in an eclipse, is here to bring light to those shadowy corners. What is hidden, it's being revealed. It's time to clean out the emotional junk drawer. So what should we focus on? Here's a couple of things. Focus on emotional healing. This is the time to release all wounds, especially those you've been hiding. Also, heighten intuition. Expect crazy, accurate gut feelings. Trust them. Do not doubt them. Spiritual awakening. This is perfect for diving deeper into meditation, dream work, or journaling. Letting go. If something or someone feels like it's been holding you back, this eclipse could give you the courage to let it go go once and for all. Now, I know some of you are thinking, should I be worried? Well, no. Eclipses aren't here to punish us, but they are here to push us toward growth. Think of them like cosmic personal trainers. <laughs> you might not like the workout, but you'll thank the universe later. And besides Pisces energy, it's super forgiving. It's like the friend who'll hold your hand while you ugly cry and then hand you tissues. Another thing to keep an eye on is your dreams. With Pisces ruling the subconscious and Neptune hanging around, your dream world is going to be off the charts. You might wake up thinking, did I just have a conversation with a unicorn on a rainbow highway? Or <laughs> write it down anyway could hold important messages for you. Sometimes the wildest dreams bring the deepest insights. Don't forget, the sun will be in Virgo during this eclipse, creating a tug of war between logical, practical Virgo energy and the dreamy, emotional Pisces moon. The eclipse is asking you to blend Virgo's need for structure with Pisces' call for surrender and flow. 
Emotional release is a huge part of this eclipse. If you've been bottling up your feelings, whether it's sadness, anger, or even joy, you may find yourself feeling all the feels around this time. The eclipse is encouraging us to release emotions that have been stuck in the shadows. You might even experience sudden realizations, realizations like, oh wow, I've been holding onto that for way too long. Think of this as a cosmic cleanse for your heart and soul. If you've been feeling scattered um, or like you're torn between getting your life in order and just binge watching your favorite show, yep, that's the Virgo Pisces axis at work. Try to balance it out. Maybe organize your room and take a bath under the full moon. Best of both worlds. So my beautiful friends, to make the most of this eclipse, I suggest journaling, meditating, finding that observer state, finding the observer, because that is who you are. You're not your body, you're not your emotions. You are infinite potential. And of course, sitting in stillness. Ask yourself, what am I ready to release? Pay attention to any repeating symbols or feelings. Sometimes what your waking mind can't figure out, your dreams will reveal. And let's not forget the spiritual side of this eclipse. Pisces is one of the most spiritual signs of the zodiac, and with Neptune involved, it's like we're getting a direct line to the divine. You might feel more in tune with your intuition or find yourself drawn to spiritual practices like meditation, tarot, or even energy healing. If there was ever a time to dive deep into your spiritual practice, this is it. And remember, whatever comes up, know that it's all part of your growth. The universe never gives you more than you can handle, even if it feels like it's throwing a lot your way. And hey, if all else fails, just blame Neptune. <laughs> Kidding. I decided to separate the two videos uh, by doing this astrological inside video, and then I'm going to move on into a tarot spread. If you'd like to join me there, if you'd like to actually bring your deck, if you have a deck, if you are a tarot reader, if you just have a tarot deck around and you would like to use it with me, then join me. I would love to see you there. Go with the flow. This is uh, the main, this is the main message that I suggest. Go with the flow and do not resist the changes and the growth that is opening up to you. Hello, beautiful souls. Before we dive into this powerful Pisces uh, lunar eclipse tarot spread, I would suggest and invite you to if you have a tarot deck around you, if you are a tarot reader, whatever, grab your deck if you like and follow along with me, okay? I'd love for you to do the spread too and let me know in the comments what cards you pulled. It's such a great way for us to connect also and share insights during this powerful time. So I can't wait to see actually what the universe reveals for each of you. Now, I want to ask Spirit Guys to give us a couple of messages, general messages regarding this lunar eclipse in Pisces, which is going to occur on the 17th of September. Thank you, Spirit Guides. What do you have for us? Yes! This has a lot to do with our growth the changes, the release, the outdated beliefs that we are ready to let go, the old cycles that Spirit Guides and the Universe is asking us to, it's asking us to remove from our lives. It's all because we are moving towards growth. And uh, right now I'm seeing this, I'm seeing the Earth and you, of course, on top of it. As you can see, we have also some sort of a clock. I'm getting that it's important, extremely important for you to to ground, to triple check if you would like to finalize something uh, throughout this period because with Neptune in the mix, there will be a little bit of confusion and fogginess when it comes about what's really true and what's an illusion. So it's important to ground, it's important to find that observer 
in stillness, in meditation, and to move towards growth with, with a lot of excitement. <laughs> Abundance, yes! This reminds me of the Empress in the original tarot deck. I'm getting a lot of our guides coming through, uh, through animals. So if you have a specific uh, spirit animal that you are connected to, it's going to play a major role for your growth and throughout this period with this, with this lunar eclipse in Pisces. We are growing, we are expanding, and with that being said, we have to release all cycles, outdated beliefs, and emotional baggage. Blossoming. How beautiful. We are blossoming into a new version of ourselves. We are letting ourselves shine. We are letting ourselves live better, live differently, experience life differently. That's beautiful. All right. And because Pisces is a sign of our subconscious spirituality uh, and also our talents, right? Hidden talents. I'm going to use this deck to ask Spirit if there's anything else that we have to know regarding this lunar eclipse before I jump into the tarot spread. Thank you. Show us clearly. Spend time in nature, super important, beautiful souls. Do not shy away from spending a lot of time in nature throughout this period. This is the most important element in your life to, to ground nature. Sharing. Someone may benefit from what you've learned. Reach out and share the knowledge and wisdom you have attained through experience. There may be some people that may need your help. There may be some people that uh, may be going through some difficult times throughout this period and with this Pisces element and energy uh, at the forefront, we are asked to open up to be compassionate and kind with the people around us because for most of us, we have already grown, we have a lot of wisdom to share and uh, there may be some people in your life that will benefit from what do you have to share. So be, be kind and compassionate, please. Detachment. Subtract your own agenda from the goal. Let go of the tight hold you have on this situation as there is a higher power at work. Detach. See yourself as the observer. Do not get caught up in your emotions or somebody else's emotions or journey. Oh yeah, your dreams, your dreams will play a very fundamental role in you, in this eclipse. There's some major revelations that will come through your dreams. Please keep a journal, very important. Look at that, there's light, shining your light in your dreams, shining a light meaning you're going to have those aha moments, those breakthroughs through your dreams. Your purpose in a connection is to guide someone to find healing light. You will assist with their awakening. You're encouraged to keep a dream journal to decipher messages spirit is conveying to you. Let's get into the spread. I'm going to ask spirit, what emotional baggage or hidden patterns we are ready to release? This would be the shadow. What Emotional baggage. We are ready to. We are ready to release spirit. Yes, five of pentacles. This scarcity mindset. This feeling that we are alone. That we are separate. That we are not worthy of being loved. Of being seen. I'm getting a little victim mentality, to be honest here, because as you can see, in this. In this card there's the key and she is on the floor with her head down not being ready or not wanting to see the key so this the key is the truth sometimes the truth may be hard to swallow however when we look the shadow in the eye then the baggage that we are carrying is being highlighted and 
when you identify the baggage that you are carrying is automatically being released because you are allowing your awareness to look at this differently, to see a better way, to see a solution to your problem. So it's time for you to release this, this baggage, whatever emotional baggage you are carrying. And look at that, we have growth and abundance. If you're struggling with money, if you're struggling with this, um, with this exchange of money, look at it as just energy. You have the power to manifest abundance in your life. But the most important thing is to come from the right space, the right space of mind. Please write down what you're pulling out, okay? And let me know in the comment box down below. All right. The next would be the illusion. What areas of our life are being clouded by confusion or self-deception? Thank you. Seven of Swords, I heard playing small, maybe having some secrets or not being truly authentic with ourselves and the people around us. Seven of Swords is, it's an energy of deception and look at that, we have uh, the moon, which is glowing, it's extremely powerful, is basically <laughs> your spirit guides shining a light on whatever deception you're holding in your life or whoever this seven of swords is it may be a person that uh, has kept you in the dark regarding regarding an important truth or hiding something important from you this will be illuminated for you we'll clarify this energy what message is your intuition trying to communicate to you right now what message Seven of Cups, look at that, we have 577, this uh, angel number may be significant to some of you. Seven of Cups, it's this energy of confusion, right? Illusion, having too many options, too many opportunities to choose from. There's something buried within the layers of this card that I feel you are trying to get to. Can be some sort of clarity, some some answer, some truth, but you must listen. That's the thing. I feel like there should be less distractions and more stillness, more quietness for you to receive the answer through the fog. As I said in the uh, in the astrology portion, with Neptune uh, being in the mix, we are going to experience uh, moments of fogginess, confusion, not truly knowing that there's something there, but not seeing it fully, right? We'll clarify. What dreams, goals, or visions are being ready to be manifested for my beautiful souls? King of Wands, ooh, passionate, driven, uh, the Leo is in the back here, which tells me that you are ready to take action. We have the fire energy, right? There may be a person, a king of wands, that you are manifesting right now. But this is also a very creative energy. It may be a long-held dream that's ready to come into reality. This can represent spiritual awakening, right? Or even a new level of understanding somebody or something or even yourself. Beautiful. Okay, so what would be Mama Moon's guidance for you beautiful souls, for us? What's the Mama Moon's guidance? Four of Swords. Tend to your heart. Tend to your emotional baggage. Emotional release is the key of this lunar eclipse period. What has to go? What's pulling at your cords? What's pulling at your heartstrings? What emotions need to be released? Tell us about the opportunities ahead. Thank you, Spree Guys. <laughs> Standing in your truth. Um, tapping into a higher version of yourself. Tapping, connecting with your higher self. Being held and helped 
uh, to traverse this emotional release, these outdated cycles that must, must be removed from your life, standing in your truth and your power and authenticity. What a beautiful card. There is um, there's justice that's prevailing, there's, there's truth that's prevailing, and there's a lot of abundance coming your way. I do want to clarify this Five of Pentacles, the shadow. What can you tell us about Five of Pentacles? Five of Swords. We must choose peace, but we must see the truth before we can make peace with our shadow. And there may be somebody that you must say goodbye to. I keep, I keep hearing now, wrap things up. You must wrap things up. This is the time. You may be in a challenging situation with somebody and you are being asked to, to defend your honor. That's what I heard. Five of Pentacles again. <laughs> yeah. 555, five, five, by the way. And, the, and number five, it's all about change. All about movement towards growth. Moving towards growth, it's never comfortable. It's never comfortable. But it's so necessary, right? It's so welcomed. Queen of Pentacles. I do love this energy. We are being called to stay grounded, to know our, our worth, to focus on our growth and abundance, and to spend time in nature. I keep hearing that. If we feel like we are in a mental foggy state of mind, if we, if we feel not ready to take a decision or to see something for what it is, spend time in nature and the clarity will come, I promise. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Yeah, there's an imbalanced exchange with somebody here. Somebody is not giving you a healthy communication or truthful, truthful information. There's something imbalanced that this lunar eclipse in Pisces will reveal to you. Of cups. Yeah. These messages are so clear. <laughs> the moon, the moon and the hierophant. There may be a job that you have been for a long time hired at, and there are some truths that you're going to find about this organization or job, or maybe a group of people that is going to make you cringe. If it's not an organization or a job, I feel there's a Taurus here or this energy of a teacher or a mentor that may have looked really good on the paper or externally and you're going to realize that there's something inherently dark and dense about this energy. This may just be politics, you know, I'm talking about the collective energy for others. It is about an exchange, imbalanced exchange with somebody. You're going to have some truths revealed to you and you're not going to believe it in the beginning. You're going to be like, what? I could have never thought that this person is like that or did that or said that. Okay, so yeah, let me know in the comment box down below because these energies are pretty damn powerful that I know this is definitely resonating with most of you. What are you trying to find? What there's some I feel layers with this card. I feel like there's so many layers and you're kind of parsing through. Mm. The devil, Capricorn energy, but it also can be a pattern or outdated belief or a system belief that no longer resonates with you or it may just be you going through some sort of a shadow work and trying to find yourself your higher self at the core and you must like parse through through the layers of an onion right and you are going deep i like that 
Justice. Yes, finding the truth. Finding your truth. Asking the big questions I heard. Oh, there's one more here. And seven of wands. You may, you may get yourself into some sort of challenge. Once again, Neptune is at the forefront uh, during this time and it's going to create this fogginess. Okay? It's going to create this confusion. If that is the case, still look for whatever truth you're trying to find, but don't take any uh, major, major decisions until after the lunar eclipse, okay? Because there's some so sort of challenge here, there's some sort of pushback from somebody or the universe itself with, uh, with Neptune, okay? So blame Neptune, if nothing else. <laughs> There may be something where you have to defend the truth. You may be a lawyer, you may be a counselor. There's something that you're parsing through, maybe some documents. You're trying to make sense of something. Uh, and it has something to do with justice, Libra energy. Okay, so what's the dream here? What are the dreams, goals, or visions that we are ready to manifest? Healing. Um, alchemization, integration of our light and dark. Ace of Wands, yeah. Creativity, passion, sexual creativity. I'm getting, I'm getting a lot of fun and wow. And Ace of Swords, truth, creativity, a lot of uh, pleasures of the mind and of the body. I heard, but I feel like there's a long-held dream here that you are moving towards. That's what I'm getting. There's a Sagittarius here and also Aries Leo and another Sagittarius energy. Things can come into reality. Things can manifest from a place of justice, from a place of truth and authenticity, okay? Seeing through the fog, acknowledging what we have to let go, looking at the patterns or outdated beliefs that we must release, looking at our emotions that are pushing away our dream. Four of Swords. Thank you, for you guys. This is Mama Moon's guidance, by the way. The sun, yes. So much healing. So much healing, so much truth that needs to... I, I heard truth that must be exposed. The star, wow. Wow. Not only healing, but also realizing our potential, becoming our advocate, releasing the old and making space for new opportunities. We have an Aquarius and Leo here, energy-wise. One more. There's a lot of healing here, beautiful souls. That must be done, Seven of Cups and King of Pentacles. Uh, and it must come from a place of stillness and meditation. There's a lot that we can release during this time. Spirit guides and the universe is opening the doors to us finally letting go, finally wrapping things up, finally seeing ourselves as sovereign. I believe this uh, tarot spread was pretty clear and straightforward. Look at that, resistance, release resistance. Yeah so important to just go with the flow, okay? Pisces, it's inviting us to let the gates of this resistance push through and flow. Anything else, please like and subscribe, turn on the notification bell. I would love to have you back here at the heart space and thank you so much for all the support. Thank you. Okay, anything else? Final messages for the collective. Fear, yeah. Look at the fear in the eye. What needs to be released? Your shadow must be integrated. And that's the only way you can do that. Anything else? 
discernment, be very discerning, and as you can see, there will be a lot of fogginess and confusion. You must parse through, know yourself, go with your intuition. Your intuition will be extremely helpful, not only throughout this period, but at all times. Feel, feel your gut instincts, okay? One more. <laughs> The realization that you have the key to the closed door look at that the realization that you can do whatever you deemed impossible or too difficult or or too fearful whatever it is you have the key to the door it's time for you to unlock your full potential to release to let go into the universe what's no longer in the best interest, in your highest alignment, and to invite growth, right? To invite the sun in your life and all the beautiful creative, co-creative possibilities that are going to be at your fingertips. Thank you so much, beautiful soul. Stay safe and know that you have a safe place, a sacred place here at the heart space, and I hope to see you back here really soon. Love you.